Mastering Subject Verb Agreement, Singular and Plural Nouns. Hey there! Today we're diving deep into one of the most tested grammar points in the TOEFL and IELTS, Subject Verb Agreement. Specifically, we'll zoom into singular and plural nouns. If you've ever wondered why we say, she runs, but, they run, this video is for you. Understanding the difference between singular and plural nouns is the first step in mastering subject-verb agreement. Here's a breakdown. Singular nouns refers to just one person, place, thing, or idea. E.g., cat, woman, city, idea. Plural nouns refers to more than one person, place, thing, or idea. E.g., cats, women, cities, ideas. Remember, the verb has to match the number of the subject. That's why we say, the cat runs fast, but, the cats run fast. While most plurals are formed by adding s to the singular noun, like cats, dogs, there are some exceptions. Nouns ending in S, X, Z, Shish, CH generally take S in the plural form. E.g., buses, boxes, quizzes, dishes, matches. Some nouns change internally for their plural forms. E.g., man becomes men, woman becomes women, child becomes children. Some nouns have the same form in both singular and plural e.g., sheep, deer, species. Always be on the lookout for these indicators when deciding on verb agreement. Mistakes happen when we mismatch the subject and verb in terms of number. Here are some pointers to keep in mind. 1. Be cautious with each and every. Despite referring to multiple items, treat them as singular. 2. E.g., every student is expected to attend. 3. Watch out for intervening phrases. They can confuse the main subject. 4. E.g., the leader of the teams is speaking, not are. 5. Collective nouns. Words like team, family, audience can be tricky. They're singular, but they can take a plural verb if they act as individuals. 6. E.g., the team is winning, as a unit. But, the team argue among themselves, as individuals. 7. Quantities. Words like, some, many, a lot of, a few, are often followed by plural nouns. 8. E.g., a lot of people are coming to the event. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you read and write, the more intuitive these rules will become. Mastering subject-verb agreement, especially when it comes to singular and plural nouns, is crucial for acing the grammar section in TOEFL and IELTS. We hope this video has made the concept clearer for you. Keep practicing, stay curious, and remember, English is a journey and every step you take makes you better. Until next time,